All right, wondering which Hut Heroes MSP to make in NHL 23? We're going to break down all the current MSPs and do a tier list. It's been a minute since we've done one of these. Let's get into it. All right, now, as always, guys, the number one priority when creating or deciding to make a player in Hockey Ultimate Team should be if you actually like the player in real life and have an interest in it. But if you are dead set on trying to give yourself the biggest advantage, that's what this tier list is for. Now, I do have to mention they're all 96 overall cards, so they're all fantastic. None of them are bad, but I do think that there are some that are better than others and if you are wondering which ones that i would recommend this is what it is so we'll start off in the b tier that's right the lowest card is a b because it's they're 96 overalls justice and noonan goaltenders all year long have been an absolute disaster there has not been a goalie that has come out and just been far and away the best because uh they're all awful um and again i hope that's rectified in nhl 24 but in 23 this is what we have he has been fine i used his card i didn't upgrade it all the way but i did use his card on the no money spend team and he's been fine just like every other goaltender he's not going to stop raps or anything like that so um keep that in mind but six foot four 99 speed if you are hut rich and you needed a goaltender a noonan is completely okay to go out and make next up in the b tier we've got aaron ekblad again i need to stress just because they're in the b tier does not mean they are bad cards but in comparison to some of the other MSPs available, this is why I think Aaron Ekblad is in the B tier. So six foot four, two fifteen. He's got good size. Only one skating synergy, so you have to choose between acceleration and speed. I would go speed, ninety four speed, ninety two acceleration, and then it's his abilities that are kind of lackluster. Gold one T. Unfortunately, point shots don't go in in the normal sense like they did in prior years. He's got Heat Seeker and Seeing Eye. Unless you are doing like a super niche team build looking for tip shots, really going to be pointless. Same thing with Thunderclap. The only really useful ability on Aaron Ekblad is stick him up. And at six foot four, stick him up is useful because he can, you know, longer reach, able to knock players off the puck. But stick him up is such a hit or miss ability because um, with how Pochecks work this year, half the time when you actually Pocheck the puck free, the other player gets it right back because everyone's got 99 offensive awareness. So that is why he is in the B tier. The last card in the B tier is the 96 Marcel Nobels, the absolute goat from the Halloween event i believe in nhl 21 he's got gold quick draw which is fine at this stage of the game i think it has a bigger advantage early on but you will beat players that don't have gold quick draw even with 99 face off he's got tape to tape elite edges third eye as well as born leader and unfortunately none of those abilities are really all that good especially at this stage of the game elite edges is good but at 99 agility you're really not going to see that much of a bonus using it all right moving on to the eights here we got the 96 darnell nurse six foot four 221 essentially the same kind of stat range as aaron ekblad only on the left side however the huge benefit from him over Aaron ekblad is gold truculence and he has stick him up so Again, that combo is going to be a lot better than what Aaron Ekblad has. Again, not a huge difference, but if you are comparing the two, I think that Darnell Nurse is going to be a better bang for your buck if you're going to make him. He's got great stats all the way across the board. Again, I think that there are better cards in this to make than Darnell Nurse, but he's firmly in the A tier. Next up in the A tier, we've got the 96 Anze Kopitar, 6'3", 225. Very similar to Marcel Nobel's. He's a little bit heavier. Again, 99 face-offs, gold quick draw. I still recommend having one player that has gold quick draw, so if you need to win a face-off no matter what, you can essentially confirm that or make sure you get it done. Tape to tape, Yoink, and Third Eye are all, in my opinion, pointless to use in NHL 23. However, it's gold or silver close quarters that kind of separates him from Marcel Nobel's and some of the other centers. 95 acceleration. 94 speed i use this card specifically on my no money spent team and he is my number one center he's been fantastic uh you if you need a centerman uh i would go out and get this anze kopitar or make gonze kopitar full marks for me a uh, great card even though he is an la king next up in the a tier is the 96 rasmus wrist the line in 64 221 right-handed defenseman 93 speed 93 acceleration again it's kind of odd that they've just nerfed skating on all of the MSPs essentially uh, since team of the season it really puts a focus on that uh, well I guess team of the season should have been the best cards for the remainder of the year but they really don't seem to update them at all uh, because a lot of them have just been lagging behind they're really really trying to limit the 99s in the game because it is just a slow crawl there because we're almost in June and we've got MSPs that have 93 speed and acceleration gold shutdown is good silver truculence is all you need that is why he's in 
the A tier, in my opinion. You can get away with being a little bit slower, six foot four, 221, so he's got great size. It's that truculence that, again, separates him from some of the other options among right-handed defensemen, and he's Rasmus Ristolainen. Again, huge fan of making uh, your favorite players, and he is one of mine. And then lastly, in the A tier, we've got the 96 Moritz Sider, six foot four, 204. Again, all these cards are gonna be very meta cards. 94 speed, 94 acceleration, a little bit better skater than Rasmus Ristolainen, but his abilities are all other than silver shutdown, really not ones you're gonna wanna rely on uh, regularly. Uh, I do re realize now why they put back at you on him. Uh, it's actually something he does quite often in real life. However, in game, you're not gonna really use utilize it a lot, and half the time it doesn't activate correctly, so uh, kind of tough there. However, he's gonna be a great defenseman for you. Again, it's all gonna come down to um, who your more favorite player is, essentially, but you're gonna get a great right-handed defenseman if you wanna take this more at Cider. All right, on to the S tier. These are cards I think that you can make and you can just kind of forget about for the rest of the year. Um, all of these I would recommend making over the other options. So 96 Miko Ranton. There is a lot of left-handed wingers, so don't get me wrong. But gold close quarters and silver unstoppable force on someone that's six foot four, two fifteen is a phenomenal combo. 94 speed and acceleration is a little tough uh, when you consider cards that you're going to use for the rest of the year. Everything else is 99. However, it's the ability to just hold on to the puck for forever in this game. Close quarters when you shoot low far side or you go backhand forehand upstairs it's like an automatic goal so that is why in my opinion he's in the s tier essentially the right-handed version of miko ranton and we've got the six foot five patrick line a 95 speed 94 acceleration gold 1t it has a little bit of use i don't think for the price point i would personally activate it but if on the rush two on ones if you you can score a, a gold 1t shot basically like two feet into the from the face or the uh the blue line but it's silver close quarters silver unstoppable force on someone that's got 99 stats all across the board 95 speed if you need a right-handed winger which i think almost everyone does because they just refuse to give out right-handed wingers uh patrick line would be the card and then oliver mebus one of the goats from prior games six foot nine 94 speed 93 acceleration gold truculence that's it that's all you need to know You've got a left-handed defenseman you can use for the rest of the year. This is essentially this year's Zdeno Chara. I don't think they have the rights to Chara this year because he just retired. So there's this weird phase where they can't sign into the Alumni Association. They're not in the active rosters. So uh, I think it happened a couple of years ago with like a Ginla and whatnot. So I think we'll see Zdeno Chara next year. I don't believe we've seen him this year. So I don't think we'll get him. But Oliver Mebus is a great option for you. This is a card again because of his size and ability. You can have him for the rest of the year he's one of the most overpowered cards defensively that you're gonna have and that is why he is in the s tier so guys i hope this helps put some things into order if you are looking for the best msps to make from the hut heroes event if you want me to do the playoff the stanley cup playoff msps let me know in the comments section down below and i'll put that out for you guys momentarily thank you guys again for watching i'll see you next time have a good one